This is my 2018 ProMaster. Thought I'd give you a little insight in terms of how I created the curtains for the van to keep things uh, nice and cozy. A lot of people have asked me about my covers on the windows in the van. I still have some work to do, but I wanted to stop and give you an idea as to how um, I fashioned everything. The van has four windows, uh, two on each side of the bed and two in the main cabin area. I fashioned some curtains made out of old coffee bean bags, the canvas, and potato sacks, oddly enough. The bags are all about the same size as the window. I'm not a perfectionist. Um, they don't fit completely. There may be an inch, half an inch on each side of the window. I put grommets in, and I'll show you the grommets in a minute. Grommets are really easy to put in. They come in packs of like 12 or 24. Uh, you need a hammer and some common sense. Not a big deal. I hooked those grommets on the top side of the window so I can draw the curtains down. If I want to take the curtains and get them out of the way, I hook them up top. Uh, it opens up the van and it's quite nice. You can get a better idea how things look um, behind me. You can see I have the canvas on the back doors over the um, pillow area. There's the canvas, which um, again is over the reflectix. So I keep the warmth. Um, and this is more hard, more difficult to see, but you get the idea. Let's see if I can turn a light on. Yeah. So that's the canvas over the, the feet. This is the largest window in the van. And you can see I went ahead and clipped those grommets over the hooks. It's a matter of grommets and hooks. It's, there's nothing to this at all. You can pop them out, pop them in as you like. They work like this. And that just fits behind the, the bench seat. And so it closes it up, gives you a lot of privacy. But this is a full size coffee bag. What I also did on this side is when I put it up, I made it in a way that it would cover the open area that I have for storage. When I'm running, you know, you're doing 70 miles an hour down the road, uh, nothing really falls out, but this could also help in that particular case too, because once you put this up, it is not coming down uh, and it'll help to prevent things from moving around too much in the cabin. I don't think anybody really has a perfect answer unless you go out and buy these things. I don't believe in buying everything. I can repurpose so much. Uh, and that's what I've done in the van. If you've seen the original tour I did of the van, I think you'll get an idea what and how I did it. I'm kind of proud of the fact that um, all the wood, other than the roof, is repurposed wood. The grommets are really, really simple. And I'll show you that in a minute. The process of putting a grommet together is, is pretty simple. Number one, you need to know your dimensions. Um, you'll need a hammer. You'll need uh, a grommet kit. And then here are the grommets. Uh, and it's a real kind of simple process. You take the piece of cloth, you back the piece of cloth with a piece of wood, and wherever the grommet hole, you want the grommet, you line that up, and then you strike it with the hammer. This side of the pin is a cutting edge and that will cut the cloth when you drive it. You make a hole. Then um, you need to determine which side you want the, the nice shiny part of the grommet on. That's what I would consider the nice shiny part right there. Um, although both sides are fine, nobody's gonna be picky. So what you do when, when the hole is in here, um, you wanna put this part that kind of sticks up through that hole and you want to back it with this guy and that kind of holds it in place for the um, striking of the hammer so you put that on top of there you put this uh, over this and you put this part through the hole that you've just made okay and then you take one of these um, I'd call it a washer so you sandwich the cloth between this <clears throat> in the bottom end of the, the grommet. And so if you can imagine, this would be over and then this would fit on top. So you sandwich it, okay? And there's a hole there 
You have to imagine. This goes on sandw sandwiching the material. This basically goes in that hole. Okay, and, and basically you're gonna hit that with a hammer and it's gonna make it flat. And I usually back it with a piece of wood on the cement. So you strike it, um, it spreads the end that's through the washer and it fastens it. Now I went ahead online and that actually was eBay, got some older potato bags with neat artwork. This is, from what I understand, close to 100 years old. Um, and I've chosen not to use this one. <laughs> I just really like the artwork. This is a more modern um, bag and it's this is the full size. They're pretty big. And uh, I just like the, the texture. It also will keep the van a little warmer over those cold windows. This is the process that I use to put grommets on the canvas potato bags or coffee bags, whatever you're gonna use. And it's not hard at all, it's fairly cheap. You just need to get the coffee bags. You can get them on eBay or there might be a local coffee shop or something that um, will discard them or sell them for a few bucks a piece. Poof, you have window curtains. It's not a, a new modern look, but it's certainly um, a story to tell. And uh, I like my work to have some character uh, and, in, and something I can enjoy and talk about. And I also like it to work and keep it simple because uh, the more simple things are, you can always uh, repair them on the road. So that's it.